evening, toasters. Neville here again, and another nightcap night. This evening, I'm going to the northeast of Scotland, to the township of Wick, where the old Pulteney distillery is. Now, I have four old Pulteneys, and I don't know why I haven't reviewed one before, but this will hopefully address that situation. This is the old Pulteney 12-year-old. So I'll pour a little bit here so we can have a look at it. That's my stomach anticipating a nice scotch hit. So it's a I suppose you'd describe it as a pale gold colour. Looks nice in the glass. Ah, that's a really fresh nose. That's a, this honeycomb. There's a bit of hint of soft sawdust, which is probably, as I usually say, from the oak influence. Uh, slightly salty perhaps and there's a strong hint of pheno sherry yeah well that's pretty yum that's smooth and, and lovely and um Give it a little bit of coating on the teeth and the and the tongue of, like if it was a sh good Shiraz, you get this coating of tannin, but it's um, yeah, it's lovely. It's, it's there is the saltiness, the brine, um, a bit of lemon and white pepper. I tell you what, there's a biscuit here in Australia called iced vovo, and this has a lot of those sort of lovely sweet flavours. And there's also a bit of spice. And, and the finish is long. I mean, I can still taste all that stuff in the mouth, the, the, the lemon and the, and the saltiness and the, the sweetness. This is an extremely classy drop. It's... Um, very much in a aperitif style. Sort of, you might have a glass of this before you tuck into your evening meal. And you, the only thing you need to add in it is more Old Pulteney 12 year old. Don't go disgracing it with ice or any other stuff. Only Old Pulteney. Cheers. Hope you've got some stashed away somewhere. I like that.